what a day yesterday, a Celtic player smashes the ref out of the way. And Chris Sutton has say as Celtic restore four-point title advantage. Aussie midfield maestro Aaron Moy is enjoying a run in Celtic's starting 11, starting for the boys for the third straight league game and helping them to a 3-0 win over tricky opponents Livingston. The 32-year-old has been chiming in with plenty of assists three in his last two league matches, but this time, his greatest highlight was a hilarious run-in with referee Willie Collum. Half an hour into the match Armand Vale, Celtic tried to break from their own penalty area for a quick counter-attack. But as Moy tried to get in on the action, his path was blocked by the whistleblower. The Australian, never afraid of a tough tackle, absolutely flattened the referee, sending him tumbling to the turf with proper hip and shoulder. Luckily, Colum quickly rebounded to his feet and was able to laugh off the incident, sharing a light-hearted word with the midfielder as he ran back to position. Celtic extended their lead at the top of the Scottish Premiership to four points with a dominant display in the 3-0 win. One word stood out from Chris Sutton's post-match tweet on the Livingston v Celtic match monstrosity. The former Celtic striker doesn't hold back on his viewpoints, with the sight of a plastic pitch in the top flight of the Scottish game a regular source of criticism. Playing on it doesn't look fun, watching it is rarely a pleasure, while the sight of a plastic pitch complete with tyre trails on television makes for another eyesore. He went on to tweet, good three points for Celtic on a monstrosity of a pitch. So Celtic's first since April, a run of 17 SPFL matches, and it was via VAR. After the match, the Celtic manager was asked about it. You actually got a penalty today. Were you pleased or more relaxed with the process that the referee went through to look at it, to check it himself? The Celtic gaffer responded. Look, to me if it's a penalty, you give it, if it's not, you move on. My frustration with last week was we almost wanted to use VAR. I think the less we use it the better, let's just leave it for the key moments. And, yeah, I did complain about not getting one, now we get one and we miss it, so there you go. Right over the next few weeks, the Scottish media will fill the press with Celtic players wanted, just wait and see. Last week it was Celtic midfield player, Matt O'Reilly. Today it is Josip Juranovic. The fact is the transfer window is not even open it is them up to the old let's try to put Celtic off track. I do not think we will sell any player this winter transfer window. Tell me your thoughts in the comments section on the game yesterday, and do you think we will sell any top first team players? One name coming out of Japan that Celtic are looking at is Yuki Kobayashi. Here are some stats on the player. Date of birth, July 2000. Place of birth, Kobe, Hyogo, Japan. Age, 22 height, 1, 85M citizenship, Japan. Position, defender centre-back. Foot, left. Player agent, UDN Sports. Current club, Vissel Kobe. He joined, February 1, 2019, and his contract expires, on January 31, 2023. Looks like the Celtic manager doing his work early again. This information comes out of Japan from the same guy that broke the news of all our other players that Big Angie has brought over. The 22-year-old left-sided back for operator will become the Hoops boss fifth signing from the J-League, according to media reports in his homeland. Kyogo Furuhashi was one of Postekoglu's first signings for the club, when he arrived in a £4.6 million swoop on Vissel Kobe in July last year. Daisen Maeda, Rio Hat 8, and Yosuke Idaguchi joined on Hogmanay and were officially unveiled on January 1. Now former under-21 star Kobayashi, a former teammate of Kyogo at Vissel, is on his way with a transfer fee already agreed between clubs. Postacoglu has targeted central defence as a priority area which requires strengthening after injuries to stand-in skipper Cameron Carter-Vickers. Carl Starfelt and Stephen Welsh left him thin on the ground as regards replacements. Moritz Jens, who signed a season-long loan from French outfit Lorient in the summer, 
is already racking up the first team appearances in the absence of Swedish international Starfelt, who has missed 12 consecutive games since hurpling off during the 4-0 win over Giovanni van Bronckhorst's Ibrox side at Parkhead on September 3. Kobayashi will transfer to Celtic in January next year, according to Japanese media outlet Sponichu. It stated, according to multiple sources, a formal offer has already arrived and an agreement has been reached between the clubs. Did your Monday just get a fat lot better? Smile be happy and FCK the Huns. Lit.